Testing, testing. One, two, uh, three. Hey, hey, party people. It's Lycona de Chichi. Welcome to a quick overview of patch 5.1. And as you guys know, we had a live letter uh, just uh, yesterday or a few days ago, depending on when you watch this. So we're just going to go through all of the uh, slides, talk about it a little bit, but I'll uh, link them in the comments uh, below. Uh, or in the description below, so that way you can check them out for yourself. But we're gonna go over them. You guys can read as well. So, uh, but if you like uh, having having an, a commentary, like here you here you go. Uh, patch 5.1: Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty. Ooh, coming in late October 2019. Very cool. So, from the date of this uh, release, probably a few weeks away. Um, maybe like maybe like a month away, you know, four or five weeks. So we'll see when it comes up. Uh, new main scenario quest, uh, standard operating procedure, a little bit of uh, uh, Alice A and our other friend. Ah, oh, gee whiz, I need to remember her name too. But the twins, the twins are here. Our, uh, <clears throat> we have some new main scenario quests, pretty much. New tribe quests, so a new beast tribe quests. They're going to be pretty standard uh i would say it's it's the formula that se has put out um flying if pigs could fly that's a uh, it's there we go uh new chronicles of a new error quest so more new quests more stories but i think this is the thing that everybody is very excited about uh i know i am i know you guys are uh, it's probably going to follow the same format, but the design and the th and the themes and the feeling is going to be from Near Automata, uh, which is another game that is very awesome. So, looking forward to that. You guys are too. A new dungeon that can also be done with the trust system. Looks like uh, here are some screenshots. That's pretty neat. Neato. And here's the big thing. Here's the big thing. New trials, plural, quote unquote plural. So I imagine we would get, you know, I I hope, but most likely we won't. We'll get a new uh, EX trial or a new trial um, and maybe a new fight uh, as well. But uh, everyone's predicting the, um, the EX version of the final boss fight in Shadowbringers. Uh, won't spoil it here if you haven't gotten to that point yet. But that's what everybody is predicting. It's the, probably the most likely case, an EX version of that. Most likely, we'll probably drop... Um, it could drop a piece of gear, like a 460 or 470 accessory item, most <clears throat> most, most likely. Uh, as well as the uh, the new 24-man uh, raids will, uh, will allow you to get either the farthings or the... Um, or an item that will let you trade it in to upgrade your 460 eye level pieces. So, um, of course, they're keeping it secret. That's cool. I don't mind. We know it's coming. And here's the other thing that I'm really excited about because it's the third ultimate difficulty challenge. And I, I think taking a step back for a moment, and then we'll get on to the rest of the slides. So, like, I think SE has done a really good job of keeping this tier. Uh, manageable and clearable uh and then giving us an ultimate difficulty fight where it's like no holds bar it's like you better be on top of your game you better you know you better bring it uh so some folks are thinking it's thornton <laughs> other other folks in my fc are like oh it's gonna be moogle They're like oh my god come on no please please anything but moogle um alexander's most likely uh, a safe bet here because it, it follows the theme of what they were doing but you never know so i'm sort of glad they keep this uh, in secret we'll find out you know more as it goes on but it's going to be really interesting for the uh, uh for all of the groups who are going to go for world first or just challenge this thing and complete it because it's going to come two weeks after patch 5.1 and that means it's going to be like mid-november so so everybody's going to be on Christmas break. So that's going to be tough for a lot of teams probably because everybody wants to go on vacation. Everyone wants to see family. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it plays, how it plays along. But I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be exciting. Um, 
Standard operating procedure, job adjustments, of course, SC's always uh, going for that. Blue Mage gets a level 60 cap increase uh, from level 50, so there's new there's new job quests for that. There's going to be new mass carnival stages. Um, there's going to be a lot more stuff for Blue Mage uh, for all of those who like to play uh, Blue Mage and get all the things and more like a collector's, edition, collector's uh, job edition. Um, more updates. Uh, you'll get a log, it looks like. Uh, and you'll receive various rewards, including allied seals and allied tombstones. Uh, certain duties will offer bonus rewards. So it's kind of like, you know, hey, we're updating Blue Mage. Here's all of the cool stuff that we're doing with Blue Mage. Awesome. More PvP updates. Uh, you're going to have substantial adjustments to PvP actions. Makes sense. New frontline rule set. Uh, uh, on Sal Hawk here. They, as you can tell, I I don't PvP uh, all that often. I actually did. I, 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 t I take that back because there was one time where I did PvP. Oh, and you get a new stage too. So that's really cool. Um, it's PvP to me is not like the, the, in the spirit of Final Fantasy, right? Because the whole entire game is about you and your friends and your team and your compa companions going out and fighting bad guys. It's not fighting each other. And the PvP like aspect in this and the, how they've treat treated the lore and the the style of it is uh, to go out there and to like train to train up against like other folks so that way you can then go in and beat the thing. Um, but uh, but it's almost like it's almost like the meta of it is if I wanted a PvP game I would get a PvP PvP game. If if it was a Final Fantasy game then. I would want to have the Final Fantasy esque like experience, but but I did I did do um <clears throat> what is it the the not the Wolves Den I forget it's the four v four and uh, there was one it, it was it was ridiculous I won thirteen times in a row and I played a white mage and I was like this is great this is awesome and then there was uh and then we had this match and we were we were dominating the match and then the my team just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing all, all them all the way back into their own thing and i'm like it, you know and there's like a 2 minutes left in the match and we already had all the gold and i'm like hey guys pull back like just def defense 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 our tank died like the other team bursted our tank died i'm sitting there like why are you guys rushing when we've already had the match and then and then and then whoever you are out there, <laughs> this this one guy or girl, who knows, like he comes onto my server and he sends me a tell and he's like, maybe you should read a guide on how to PvP. And I'm like, you, I won 13 times in a row. <laughs> I was I was upset, but hey, whatever. Like, and he was one of the guys on on our own team at that time. And ever since then, like, I I I don't have any experience. It, much with the pvp community but it's one of those things where it's like really like you know you don't see the strategy in this and and saying you know hey if you're winning the fight don't risk uh maybe i should do a maybe i should do a guide on, guide on pvp maybe i should do that. that that's a good idea i'm gonna make a footnote of that but i'm i'm anyway not gonna be on a rant i'm not ranting i'm not ranting i'm sorry for ranting let's get let's move on New Game Plus, a big thing. Your level, you can replay any of the completed quests, which I think is great because one of the things that's lost is not the cutscenes, but the, the 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 NPCs or the folks that you talk to in between the cutscenes that give the cutscenes uh, their uh, weight, uh, their story like completion kind of thing. And uh, I know that I know that like whenever. Uh, a new the new savage raid comes out like everybody is just sort of, sort of like rushing through and rushing through and like not really wanting to watch the story and and do all that and so and so you miss a lot of the context you know you miss like alpha or sid like talking about like oh that we're in omega and doing the things and this and that uh so this is really cool to like kind of experience quests like after the fact so if you're uh if you're a raider and you want to do like the world first challenge and you know, and, and just like kind of, you know, do the click throughs and like just get through and like not worry about the story just yet, but clear the content. You can do this. And I think that's a really good thing. And they are awesome for implementing it. Crafting and gathering revamp makes sense because 
there is uh and we're gonna uh, the summary is uh we they have changed plans for patch 5.1 and patch patch 5.2 uh increasing the ease of entry for new players into crafting that's cool adjustments uh more complex systems like basically it's like it's like quality of life improvements easier for folks to get into new content for avid crafters uh it's going to be excellent for you guys out there who use crafting as their mains system updates actions will be adjusted new recipe tree will uh, this is interesting um new recipe tree display option which uh there's another slide down here and we'll get to that in a sec more updates so looks like uh the japanese kanji used for collectibles has been changed for ease of reading all right certain items will be will always be gathered as collectibles adjustments to quick synthesis success rates oh well, that's cool that should be an increase you know because if it's not 99 percent, it's zero percent for crafting in final fantasy adjustments to desynthesis cool gathering system updates action will be actions will be adjusted actions will need uh, actions used to locate unspoiled nodes will be automated that's that's actually really cool i think that's a cool quality of life update um because yeah, it's just one less button that you have to press in order to like find it, you know. But if it pops up on your map and it's like, hey, this is where it is, and like you just go to it. Totally fine. I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, items at unspoiled nose will not appear as unknown or be out of reach. There you go. Gathering system update continues. Stealth actions will be replaced by sneak. <laughs> uh, can be used while mounted and will not affect movement speed. That's pretty cool. All right. Quick gathering will be added added i think i feel like quick gathering would be like you could just click on it and you can just like get whatever you want or or it would be uh because i i didn't watch the live letter but i would i would assume it would be something like uh you know how you have like nine tries to get like the one item so instead of like clicking once and twice and, and three times you can like click get all item and then and then you get all of them like in one hit rather than multiple hits so another quality of life improvement but we'll see what it actually happens out there or if i'm just wrong because i didn't watch the live letter i was i was working um so there you go gathering system updates continue uh collectibles has been changed for ease of reading adjustments to, to the to the gathering rates from item yields and elemental shards yields will be adjusted so that is a big thing and here's a preview of like the the uh the crafting recipe tree so you can see like what what things get you to wear which is you know more quality of life improvements ishgard rest restoration which is the big thing uh it's going to be content designed for crafters and gatherers players must work together to build firm firmament okay Contribute through a number of tasks, including item deliveries. Progress of restorations will differ between worlds. It's like, eh, okay, all right, well, you know, there's that's that's a thing. Um, we knew it was coming, but they're implementing it now. Uh, fellowships form casual communities to free companies and link shells. So it's kind of like uh, I, I feel like it's just a a, a, a channel that you can create that's going to be uh, that has more slots to it. Um, I can't see them doing anything else. Although I would like them to expand like everyone's friend list. You know, it's been at 200 for a while, and uh, you know, m m having more friends and having more people that you communicate, you know, is good. But I, I think, you know, I wonder, I wonder if at some point, I wonder if, and I, I suspect, and maybe, maybe this is something you know from a community standpoint. But um, you know, quality of life is like, please let us re organize our link shell uh orders uh instead of having to leave and then come back or or, or like leave, leave a link shell and then join a link shell in order so that way we have like the one through one through three or whatever because because like like some of you may have two characters and i know i have i have multiple characters and if i'm on one character and i want to chat with like sort of my fc i have to well, no, actually, no, the FC, because you can type in backslash FC and then type in your thing. But if I wanted to type to a link shell, I'm, I'm only in the same link shell I'm in with both my characters, but one is on, like, link shell one and the other one is on link shell three. And there's no way to, well, at least I know, I, I know of, 
unless you know of a way to change it without like leaving and then re- and then rejoining these link shells like as they come up. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I've just like ignored it for so long that I'm just like, well, it's never gonna happen. But hopefully that happens, or hopefully it's already there, and I'm just being uh, I'm just being silly and not knowledgeable enough. And maybe you guys can help me out. Leave them in the comments below. Gold saucer updates features Yo Jimbo. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, yeah, it looks like a new uh, fate at the gold saucer. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I feel like it's very similar to um, the one where you get blown off, but he's gonna just do a lot of slices and AOEs and stuff. And so. Um, you know, everybody will everybody will join this, and everybody will be on there for a week. And then when you know when somebody posts on Reddit, it's like, oh, here's the stage, here's where you stand. You stand on this like one pixel, then every like everyone's character is going to stand on one that one pixel. But but it'll be fun. Um, I'm glad that they're updating the gold saucer uh, as as we go along. I think it's definitely well needed. <clears throat> uh, the new fate features Yo Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> new high resolution uh doma uh, mahjong layout so it looks like uh for those of you who play mahjong you will get a higher resolution image uh performance updates ensemble feature will add uh oh i actually i should say performance updates because it's sort of like a big thing right if you're on your bard you get like performance options and you get a whole bunch of thing so uh it looks like you're going to get a group ensemble feature um, which will allow you to play more act- allow you to use performance actions more easily when in a party. You'll get a new horn instrument, looks like a trumpet, and uh, performance assistant features will be added. That's cool to like stay in time for those of you who are uh, musically inclined, which none of you are because everybody loves music. That's all I gotta say. Uh, looks like you get a trumpet looking thing that's bent in a U shape, and um, it looks like you get a. It looks like you get like a, a scroll timer, as well to uh, to play some music. So that's pretty neat. There's some more stuff, and you get a metrodome. Wow, these got like, I tell you, they're good. Um, and here's something that is rather unexpected, I'll say. Uh, but they're doing a launcher update, just a a, a visual uh update. Uh, make it a little bigger, make it a little like more sleek, make it more 2000. You know, 2019, 2020, rather than what we had a while ago. Um, yeah, maybe you know, hopefully the launcher system will uh, will be a little bit faster. I hope that it's not just a UI update, but it's more of a uh, uh, you know, of of working with the code and making it like just just streamline and faster and and quicker. And maybe it'll force like maybe it'll just optimize it's you know it's just optimized maybe it gets you to like log in faster maybe it says like you know save your username and password or stuff like that uh who knows but that's a thing some other random updates uh custom deliveries uh new uh, there's uh, uh, i guess a new client kai share all right fair enough uh pet display in the party list that's cool weapon rewards added for completion of level 51 to level 59 and level 61 to level 69 and level 71 to 79 dungeons, and I think this is uh this is so you can uh get your weapons uh up to snuff uh faster in the dungeons, which is cool. Another quality of life update. Uh, some more updates. Uh, buy color gemstone cap will be increased to 1,000. Okay. New group pose features will be added, as we all need because we all like taking pictures. Brightness settings and character display toggle for non-party members. Uh, I guess that's the thing that is going to be added. <clears throat> and meals can be eaten while e- meals can be eaten while sitting. Uh, so it looks like for the last five years, all Eorzeans only eat standing up. So thank you for uh, giving us chairs so we can eat uh, and and consume our food and drink on uh on stools and bar stools and chairs and on the floor and uh you know yeah if you think about it if you think about the logic of it it's like you know what yourians don't have a picnic none of them none of them have had a picnic you've only they've only like sat down together but then when you have to eat you have to stand up that's kind of weird like socially awkward but uh but now proper New Game Plus, another big thing that everyone is excited about. It's where uh, we talked about it briefly. 
Uh, it's where you can uh, go through every single quest and uh, complete it. Very cool. Revisit previously completed quests to enjoy cutscenes, dialogue, and batteries, and batteries, and battles not available in the unending journey. It's very cool. Replay quests as, as of patch 5.1, Heaven's Ward Stormblood, and Shadowbringer's main scenario quest. Uh, a quest for a Realm Reborn main scenarios, classes, and jobs, roles, Chronicle of a New Era, and side story quests will be made available in a future update. Hey, you know what? I'm cool. Like, all right, I got, I got you. Maybe, maybe there's, there's probably some weird thing with the game coding. And, and I remember a few years ago they were talking about, like when, when a lot of people wanted to, hey, we wanted to replay the, um, I, uh, they asked Yoshi P. They were like, hey, we want new game plus, or we want something like it where we can replay the quest. And, and he said like basically the game's coding, uh, is if you've completed the quest, uh, it's a one right in computer terms and if you've not completed the quest like the the identifier on your character is zero so once you completed the quest like the thing turned to one and the way that they would have to do it back in the day if they wanted to do a quick like a quick fix they said well if we do that then then in order to replay the quest we're going to have to change the value of your character's like completion from one to zero but in doing so that's going to remove all of the different uh whatchamacallit it's going to it, it's going to take every quest and everything that you have unlocked and every dungeon and every uh like every side story and basically say on your character like hey you haven't completed those when you actually have so they had to figure out a different method of, of programming uh the game in order to not uh in order to still let you have access to all of that past uh all of your past unlocks and it would be really frustrating if you're like oh i want to start new game plus and then everything you've ever completed basically said oh by the way you have to unlock everything again which would be a nightmare so that's why it's taken so long but looks like they've pulled through and i know you guys are uh looking forward to that um, and then there's uh, this one. I remember this one. Yep, you remember this one, unless you haven't gotten here. That was it was a re it was a really cool one. Um, yeah, let's move on. About new game plus, you can switch to the new game while enabled. You can only progress through the quest specific to new game plus. All right. Uh, looks like you can select a chapter. So each chapter must be played from the beginning makes sense below is an example of how chapters are divided uh, so we got those right there and it looks like you just have like a screen select which is great you just like click on it and you're like bloop and it maybe it plops you down and you're like here's the quest marker start and go um pretty neat so it might it might be like i don't think it would be instance but i i don't know i don't know we'll we'll see I'm also discovering all of these things as we go along too with you guys, so I might not be as polished as uh, some of the other folks out there, but at least we're going through. All right, relive your adventures. Instance battles will be level synced. All right, all right, sounds good. You'll receive no quest rewards. Makes sense. You will have one auto save slot to record your progress. Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fellowships. Oh, here's the fellowships thing. Oh, here we go. What are fellowships? All right. Fellowships are loosely knit communities of players who share similar interests, which can accommodate up to a thousand players, which is like a link shell. A single player can make or join up to 10 fellowships with no world restrictions, so as long as they're within the same data center. So it's a data center, data center, um, da -da 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 fellowship, uh, link shell. Cool. So. Whether it's to announce events. Oh, so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a combination link shell free company, uh, in in the aspect. So you like you can set it up and you can have people join. You're like, hey, here's the message board and here's like this and people have questions and yada yada. So all right, cool. We'll see how that goes. Name your fellowship. Oh, this just shows you all of the uh, directions. You can specify uh, main interests or activities by selecting the icons. That's cool. Uh, player events, casual battle, housing, nice, nice. So, so it looks like they're just trying to create communities uh, within Final Fantasy. Uh, that's very specific. Like if you're RPing, if you're uh, crafting, if you're, you know, doing uh, end game raids, if you're doing this. Um, 
it's kind of kind of what our FC has already been doing. Uh, I suppose with like link shells, we have like different link shells for, you know, it's like, hey, here's all the cool people that like we've gone and we've done the EX like roulettes and all that stuff for and yada yada. So that's cool. Oh my god, it's like 25 minutes like already. All right, we gotta move through. We gotta move through this fast. Or else you guys are going to be like, you know, oh, I'm just watching this for 30 seconds and then I'm going to watch this other YouTube video on whatever. Uh, separate settings. Cool. Um, pretty much uh, you can you can take a look at all of this uh, interaction with like the fellowship boards. But um, pretty much we got some fellowship boards where, you know, everybody's going to dive in and, and figure it out. But uh, it's another tool to help communities like stick together and build together. Very cool. Another big thing, the Garo collaboration ends ends with release of patch 5.1. So if you want to get all of this like fancy gear and stuff, you should um, you should do some PvP and buy them and store them away because uh, yeah, that's all the Garo gear. We have uh, our beloved creators up here and our mystery man, um, the Yora. Dark Apocalypse. Uh, let's see here. New Alliance Raid. It's called the Copy Factory. Or the Copy to Factory. Hmm. So we have some screenshots. That's cool. We have some screenshots. And looks like we have some boss. Uh, what are these? Drawings? No, no, no. Artwork? That's what it is. It's called artwork. Um, looks like we have... <laughs> that'll be interesting to see what exactly is going to happen uh, in there. But very uh, digital, very mechanical, um, and you know, I, I like SE is really good about taking things that people love and making and making them. Well, let's just say that and making them right because you know at the at the end of the day, it's a theme park. It's something exciting for everyone to. Uh, it's something exciting for everyone to do. And near Ultima, near Automata is a you know is a beloved game. Everybody likes it. Everybody's excited. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And then we have our uh, our peace sign, which we're out of here. But that is uh, essentially the uh, just the slides from Patch 5.1. Uh, it's coming out sometime in late October. Um, late October would probably be the last week of October if uh, SE keeps on to its sort of schedule. Uh, as it always has, you know, it's like if they say early, if they say early summer, it's like usually late. If they say late, it's like it's like really late. It's like, you know, it's the last day of October, you know, like October 30. Sometimes it might be October 32nd. You never know. Um, but, un you know, until then, uh, look forward to patch 5.1 and uh, look forward to more guides. Uh, if you like these things, uh, you know, like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz, all that YouTube, whatever. And um until next time, keep on adventuring.